everybody, welcome back to the Harmonica Borge. Today I wanted to talk about how can you boost your creativity. So I think as musicians we always get this thing where we're practicing and we feel a bit stuck in a rut or some musicians call it you might be plateauing and you feel like you're not improving. And I think sometimes you can just do some simple tricks and tips when you're practicing to boost your creativity and give you a new direction. So just before we get into that, do give us a thumbs up, like the channel, subscribe, all that. That helps me out a lot. Thank you. So tip number one, why not try a different style? So say you've been playing a lot of blues and... Try something different. And a great way to do this is to just go and look for backing tracks. So say so obviously I've got my C harp here. I'm going to be backing tracks in the key of G. Just see what's out there. Go on Spotify, YouTube and say... I'm going to find a funk backing track, you know, completely different feel. Which is going to make you think differently in terms of the instrument, harmonically, and trying a change of style can be really good. So do change up the style of what you're playing. So the next tip would be why not try a different position? Say you're really stuck in second position and why not try say something in 12th position using the two hole draw bend full step. So, For example I've been doing some exercises with that at the moment learning a major pentatonic scale and then exploring some melodies. What you find with a different position is just having this different framework of notes will make you think differently on the instrument. It's also going to give your technique a massive boost because you're going to be playing for longer periods on certain notes, especially bends if you're playing in 12th position. And you wouldn't normally play with that same expression on those notes. So changing positions really, really useful. What you can also do with positions, of course, is try different positions in the same key. So I'll just go over this very briefly. Say I'm playing a blues in the key of G. So I could mix it up. I could be on my C harp and... And then switch to my F harp. And I'm playing in third position on the F harp, but I'm still in the same key. So doing that in one song, that can really change things up and give you some nice variety. Again, boosting your creativity. So the next tip would be why not try some different riffs in the way you phrase. So I'm going to say I'm going to use, use this word angular. So I might be stuck in playing a riff and I always use the same. You're basically just trying to get out of your routine. So say I'm going to go up the scale, but I'll use a I'll go from a three draw half step bend to a four draw half step bend rather than to hit onto a four blow. So, and it's not really about that particular riff, but this concept is very, very good. So, so I might I might jump to the seven draw. So instead of hitting the six, that's my routine riff. It's the one that I always do. If I'm put on the spot, how about hitting the seven? Again, that can boost creativity and then that might lead you somewhere else from that seven. I might say go up the harp rather than back down. Try mixing up different splits that you might not usually do. So say I'm going to play six, nine blow. and start riffs up there in the higher octave rather than playing the three six. So it's trying to play phrases and note selections. Obviously you could go into this really deeply and this is something that I work on with students a lot with changing up your improvisation routines. But just generally speaking, we're trying to play combinations to surprise yourself, to say, I'm not, this is something that I wouldn't normally play all the time. So jump into octaves that you wouldn't normally do. Don't worry if it doesn't sound great. So this isn't always going to work. That's the thing about creativity. It's not like technique practice where we have a very specific outcome. Using new techniques 
Okay, so again, want to throw it out there. Maybe I'll do something if you're stuck in using your hands all the time. Maybe try a... Something you wouldn't normally do, like a... A lip rasp. I don't know what the name for that is, but... A, a mix in the techniques, or maybe a jaw tremolo, like take a bend. can be quite effective in the right context. Again, you know, I'm messing around, so it's not always going to sound good when you first try these things, and that's a, this is about creativity, so changing up your techniques, very important. Try and be more ambitious in the feel of what you play. So say rhythmically, if you play lots of shuffle, play some straight notes over the top and mix it up. And see how long you can play straight for over a shuffle. And if you if you go out of time, so trying to mix up the feel of what you're doing. So this having some rhythmic input, this can really boost creativity as well. And for my final tip is try playing more simply with more emotion. Sometimes just slowing things down, really thinking about every note you play and feeling every note you play. playing simply and really being conscious or mindful of every phrase you play and trying to feel it, slowing it down, playing simply with emotion. So I hope those tips help you if you're in a creative rot and you're feeling a bit stuck. Do let me know in the comments anything that you like to do to boost your creativity, any tips. And thanks everybody for the comments. It's great to hear your feedback. Of course, check out my in-depth lessons if you want detailed lessons. And uh, you can support me on Patreon if you like. Check everything in the links below. And I'll see you for another harp video very soon. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>